My job here at UGA is to create new varieties uh, of uh, cucurbits. Cucurbits are watermelon, squash and pumpkins. Cecilia McGregor is a professor of horticulture at the University of Georgia. Yeah, so I'm originally from South Africa. I grow, grew up on a sheep farm uh, in South Africa. And um, when I went to high school, I had a very good biology teacher. She says her love of genetics blossomed in her high school biology class. When I had to go to university, I decided, well, that's what I want to study. Because she grew up on a farm, she had a passion for animals and spent the majority of her undergraduate program studying animal genetics. But then after I graduated from my undergraduate degree, I started becoming more interested in plants. And then I started studying plant genetics. Now she's part of a team that grows these. So this variety of pumpkin is called orange bulldog. Look, it has different shapes. You have this kind of salmon color. You also have the really deep orange color and they're nice if you want to carve. They are all pollinated by bees. So bees come, they land on one flower and then visit another flower. Also, they have separate male and female flowers. So the bee have to hop on the male flower, get the pollen, then hop on the female flower. While these round gourds aren't the traditional red and black, they were developed by scientists at the University of Georgia. The orange bulldog seed was originally obtained in 1996. The cultivar was then developed in 2004, and the seed became available for growers to purchase about two years later. It took about 10 years to go from starting the project until something is available for farmers and that's very common because we need to test the plants over and over make sure if we tell a farmer well this is resistant to a virus it's really resistant to a virus and they grow well not only in georgia but all over the southeast united states these dogs are good for carving and eating but the best part is they've been created to be invincible. Uh, and they are resistant to some of the diseases and pests we get in Georgia. So we grow fields like this, we harvest the seed, we process the seed, we clean it and make sure it's all nice and healthy, it has good germination, and then we package it in little packages like this. And then from February until August, the growers can order on the website, just like you kind of do on Amazon. You can order seed and then we ship the seed to you. It's all in an effort to improve the quality of seeds for farmers and ultimately make sure that our world is adequately fed. All the research that is done is really done by teams. It's not, I'm just the person who is who start, who standing here today. Um, the person that collected the seed was Jared Kruer. The person that really developed the cultivar was Dr. George Boyan. And now I'm taking it over. So research and science in general is built by teams and one person stands on the shoulders of another. So yeah, I'm, it's really honored to be part of this team. Uh, at UGA that develop um, this material and I hope that you know I can make a small contribution that in the future will help somebody else and their team to to carry this forward. She says there's so many different career paths that involve agriculture. Anything from a lot of computer work, it can be it can be something that is a lot of lab work, working with pipettes and DNA in the lab. It can be out here in the field evaluating material. So the career in science uh, is huge and there's opportunities for everybody. There's a lot of behind the scenes lab work, working with DNA, genetics, and genomics to develop plants like the orange bulldog pumpkins that are resistant to disease. If you are interested in this kind of career path, molecular biology is really what you want to study.